Welcome to MicroStrategy Blog. My name's Jeremy. Today I'm going to show you how to do transformations. So we're going to start with first project. We're in MicroStrategy uh, Desktop. Before we get into it too much, I wanted to show you the back end using um, MicroStrategy uh, Database Query Tool of what uh, the transformation actually looks like at the table level. So this is just a access friendly query from uh, month to date, which is what we're going to be doing month to date day, looking at the day date of 2008 is the year October 5th. So if we execute that, you can see that in the bottom there. And you can actually see how uh, how that ends up looking. So you can see that your day date column is the single date repeated and your month to date is then going to be those five days that are you know October 1st through 5th okay so now that you kinda of see how that works the column that you want your date to attach to is gonna be your original date name and then you're gonna duplicate that for everything that you want so first let's go ahead and we're gonna make uh, um, the pieces in our warehouse catalog we're gonna use warehouse catalog instead of architect and I'm just gonna add those pieces really quick I'm gonna add the month to date day as well as the uh, lookup for um, date, the date lookup. So I'm just going to have those two pieces, and we're just going to do a simple count. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and save and close, and then we're going to do a fact. Uh, let's do it this way because the screen's smaller. So we'll go ahead and go new fact. And we're just going to go do uh, day date. We're just going to go ahead and do that as our fact because we're just going to create a count off of it. Okay. So you see that the date is on the LU day as well. The LU standing lookup and MTD, MTD, which is month to date day. So you can see it's on both of those tables and it automatically recognizes it. So I'll go ahead and save and close. We'll go ahead and call that day date. And then I'm going to add the attribute mm -hmm. for, for that as well. Let's go back this way. Just do it that way. So new attribute, we're going to go ahead and add uh, day date as our lookup call, uh, table and just go OK. And it'll automatically recognize, OK, day date is what we want. The tables are here. Bold is going to be LU day because that's actually our lookup. And it's a date time. That's fine. And we're just going to keep ID. We're not too worried about children or parents right now. So we'll go ahead and call that day date. Let's go ahead and refresh that. And then we're going to create a couple. Uh, first, let's create the transformation, actually. So since we're in the transformation folder, it knows automatically to create the transformation. And we're going to do day date as our transformation and month to date day. And we're telling what we want to transform to is going to be the month to date day date. So if we go back to the database tool, it's going to take this day and say for every time this value occurs, we actually really want it to be these values. Okay, and we're going to make that a many to many. It is not a one to one. Save and close, and we're going to call that month to date. All right, so for your metrics, now we're going to do two metrics. We're actually going to do uh, the first metric is going to be the count of day date. I don't want it to be the sum. Okay. And I like to go in the column options and say what I'm doing. So we'll call it count day date so that I can name it. And we're not going to have a transformation on this. So we're going to go save as. And we're going to call this uh, the count of day. And then we're going to add a transformation, the month to date. And we're going to rename it count day date. Let's just say month to date. Might say that this is too long. Ah, it doesn't good. Okay, and then we're going to save that as count day, month to date. Okay, so we have our two metrics. We have our attribute that represents the day date and the fact, which is the day date again. So we're going to go ahead and update the schema. Okay, now let's go ahead and we're going to create the report. Okay. So in our report, if we can find it, let's do this. In our report, we're going to go ahead and add the attribute of day date. 
on our left hand column. And then the two objects that I want, the two metrics are the count day and the count day month to date. And I'm not too worried about filter. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's just go ahead and filter for a specific day. I don't want to have uh, tons of results. So we'll just go ahead and say the element is in the list. And I'm going to just do it just so that we keep consistent. I'm going to do 10 5. Uh, let's try this again. See if I can find just 10 5. And let's see how that looks. And we'll go ahead and run the report. There you go. So now for the day of 10-5, we can see that the count is 1, but the month to date count is actually 5. And if we change that filter so that we're uh, looking at all of uh, October. Let's try this again. We'll just do October 1st through 5th. then you'll be able to kind of see how it works. There you go. So each day has a specific count, and each month is going to have kind of a running total, if you will. So you can see that month to date total. And then we'll go ahead and test just to make sure that it's working uh, for the day before, or the month before. So let's look at 9.30 as well. So we should have 30 before and 1 for the day. There you go. So that's your transformation. That's how your transformations work.